So in a previous video I mentioned that the mortar was not 100% complete and this was because I wanted there to be a series of secondary explosions that ha happened after the first. Uh, that is now complete and as you can see, functional. Uh, the mortar of course is not, won't ever, it's not really ever planned to be an airburst weapon, it's always planned to be a explode on impact after being armed weapon. Um, but the air burst here is just, I put it in just so I could, for testing purposes, evaluate the distribution pattern and such. Um, at the moment, things, they're not what I'd call balanced. Uh, everything's functional, so I just need to go over it with a bit of a comb and make it not feel ridiculously OP or anything like that. I mean, I won't assume that I'll be able to balance it initially, that'd be stupid, but... There are definitely situations where you're like, oh, this does like 5 million damage. That's probably not balanced. <laughs> so that's what needs to be done with the mortar and the other weapons, actually, really. Um, so I want to go over, it's kind of an important topic that is related to the mortar and more importantly is related to weapons in general. Um, here we go. Let me come up on some bots because I can do something cool. Okay. So the primary explosion has gone off, as you can see here, there's the whole sphere thing, it looks almost like, I don't know, World's Fair, some like trinket or something like that, but anyhow, as you can see, the primary's gone off and it's spawned all of the secondaries, which at the moment they look like grenades and that's just because I chose grenade assets because they were on hand. They're actually not grenades. They actually individually they don't do much damage. If you, they're at the moment, if you are direct hitted by hit by one, it does 25%. Um, that's all boundary balanced, but they do have a fairly wide range. So as you can see here, I actually am not sure if either torque or aspect will die, but there's a good chance that both of them will. Yeah, one of them died here. And so that was just a good demonstration here. You can see the distribution pattern. It looks very symmetrical. Uh, that's actually, that's meant to be that way. Um, this is a non-random pattern that is, uh, it's reliable both on the client and the server. Let me do another, ah, let me get, let that one go off, here we go. So yeah, all of these, the spawn points and their directions and stuff, these are 100% reliable client and server. Um, the reason for this, the reason for not random spawning is because in UDK that tends to be not very reliable between the client and server. Also, random kind of, it, it, it's one of those things that's not really necessary. It's like it, it, it can be something that's used, but it's not necessary. So it's something I'd rather avoid. Um, like for instance, there's going to be a shotgun. That shotgun is not going to have a random spread. It's going to have a set spread. The spread will be dis distributed well, and the nice thing about having a set spread is it allows players to actually evaluate, like, for instance, with a shotgun, they can actually look directly at the shotgun spread pattern and put thought process into it and go, oh, actually, it might not be good to shoot at the shotgun directly at somebody when they're far away. Maybe it would be better to shoot them slightly at an off angle. Who knows? But it allows for that kind of thought process. So, anyhow, um, that's... <laughs> As I said at the moment, things are not what I'd call balanced. Boom! Um, but it's fun, I can tell you that. It's scary as hell when one of these guys picks up a mortar and decides to shoot me. So at the moment, these explosions also, they're going to be replaced because the grenade explosion effects were not meant to be used in this number. At the moment, I, th I think there's 14 explosions that happen, and that's just... its For the grenade explosion effects, that's a lot. Like, I'll go in here and you guys will notice the frame rate will drop. Probably did something like 20. Yeah, it's at 25 right now. So it's not really acceptable. So the explosion effects are going to be a bit less intrusive. Um, let that go off. But that's it for this video. Just wanted to go over the plans for um, spread and just the client server and such. And of course, this is the way the mortar is going to look. Rocket scientist. Oh, rocket scientist. It's always good to get that. So if you have any questions or comments about the uh, mortar's behavior or anything else I've been talking about in this video, you can of course put them on the uh, YouTube comments page or you can hop on the game forums and uh, hit me up there. 
There's always discussions going on. But anyhow, that's it for this video. Um, oh, actually, I suppose I should say that the other planned thing that's going to happen is, at the moment, you'll notice that you don't really hear any sound. Uh, that needs to be done because it really does look silly. I'll fire, you know, fire the mortar for it. You don't hear anything. So the uh, sound fall-off is going to be about... Uh, not evaluated, adjusted to better match the game. Ideally, like if I'm standing here and a mortar goes off, I should be able to hear a mortar from over there. It should be faint, but it should be something you should be able to hear. But anyhow, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.